Welcome to Motion Story Recaps. Today I will show you a sci-fi romance story from 2016, titled Passengers. The Avalon, a sleeper ship carrying 5,000 colonists and 258 crew members in slumber pods, is making the 120-year journey from Earth to the planet Homestead 2 as part of a major evacuation of Earth's inhabitants as a result of ecocide and the collapse of the biosphere after barely 30 years. An asteroid encounter damages the ship despite its defense mechanisms, leading to a failure that causes James, Jim, Preston, a mechanical engineer, to awaken 90 years too soon. After spending a year alone with just an artificial barman named Arthur as company, Jim begins to feel hopeless and consider taking his own life until he sees Aurora Lane, a stunning young woman inside a pod. After watching her video profile, he falls in love. He struggles with the idea of reviving her for companionship since he knows it would be immoral and would prevent her from living the life she was meant to on their destination planet. When he finally wakes her up, he makes her think that there was another mishap. He instructs Arthur to keep what he has done hidden. Devastated by having to spend the rest of her life on a ship, Aurora makes an unsuccessful attempt to enter hibernation once more. Aurora, a writer and journalist who has accepted the circumstance, starts writing about it. The two have a romantic relationship over the following year. After Aurora informs Arthur that she and Jim do not hold secrets from one another, Arthur unintentionally spills the truth about Aurora's awakening just before Jim plans to propose to her. Jim is verbally and physically attacked by a devastated and furious Aurora. He apologizes, which she vehemently refuses and keeps away from. Later on, Gus Mancuso, a deck chief officer, is awakened by another pod failure. The crew gains entry to the ship's bridge using Gus's personnel code. Jim had attempted to breach it earlier in vain. Although the computer does not provide the cause, they find several cascading failures in all of the ship's systems. The ship will inevitably break down if not fixed, killing the crew and passengers. Gus recognizes that Jim's activities have awakened Aurora. He does not support Jim's behavior, but he acknowledges it, Gus informs Aurora that a drowning man, referring to the suicidal Jim, will grasp onto any lifeline. Gus becomes seriously ill, and the ship's computerized medical facility, the Autodoc, determines that he has pansystemic necrosis and assigns him only a few hours to live. Gus says his hibernation POD's repeated failures are to blame. Gus gives Jim and Aurora his employee code and ID badge before he passes away so they can try to fix the spacecraft. Hull breaches from the asteroid crash two years ago are discovered by Jim and Aurora. Due to the serious damage to the computer module controlling the ship's fusion reactor power plant, the other systems began to malfunction in a cascade fashion misdirected in an effort to keep it. When the computer tries to vent the reactor to put out a runaway plasma reaction, the outer vent fails so they repair the damaged module. Jim is compelled to use the manual controls in the vent tube while performing a spacewalk in order to vent the plasma outside. Jim learns that while Aurora starts venting from inside the ship, he must stay in the tube to keep it open. She acknowledges that she still has feelings for him and that she fears losing him and being left alone. When Jim's tether breaks and his damaged spacesuit starts losing oxygen, he manages to build a heat shield and survives the venting but is launched into space. A dead Jim is brought back by Aurora from space, and he is revived in the autodock. The Avalon resumes normal operations after having its reactor repaired. Jim discovers the autodock can serve as a hibernation pod for one person after burying Gus in space, and Jim insists that Aurora use it for the remainder of the journey. She decides to stay up with Jim because she knows she won't ever see him again. She accepts the temporary engagement ring he had earlier presented to her. The crew of the ship awakens on time, just before docking at Homestead 2, a full 88 years later. They find a large tree with trailing vines, luxuriant greenery, flying birds, and a little cabin in the ship's great concourse. The idyllic existence Jim and Aurora had on the Avalon is described in an audio recording of Aurora's story. Make sure that you've subscribed and turn on the notification for more updates. Thank you for watching.